In the Kitchen with WSLS 10 News, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. We're here in the outdoor FNS kitchen whipping up a delicious treat for you today. I'm with Carmen George from Hallway Bakery in Blacksburg. You also have a lot of great drinks and you have an awesome looking smoothie for yeah, us today. Tell us about this. <laughs> that's coming up in Halwa. Wow. So, <laughs> so I decided to introduce cake. it. Special Wonderful. for you today. Oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> it looks amazing. What all is in this? Okay, it's a smoothie. I have a lot of smoothies in Hawa, but I wanted to create something refreshing for the summer. So it's a smoothie slash ice cream slash fruit mm. cups. So all in all one. The things, all the things for us. All right, so where do we start? To make okay, this? we start with the smoothie. First, I like to use frozen fruits. I don't like to use that much ice, so I like to freeze my uh, fruits so it gets the ice because the ice gets like too much water. Okay. So you get whatever, it's whatever. If you want to make it at home, whatever fruits you like, you can start with. And this is a whole milk. Also the milk, whatever milk you, dairy free, Prefer. whole milk, whatever. Okay. And my smoothie, I don't add any sugar. Oh. So I get the sugar from the fruits and I get sugar from the ice cream and the whipped cream. Okay, so, so it's a healthier option. It's for a us healthier too. You can you can tell that. Yes, yeah. you can say that. You can, you can say, say that. You can say that. <laughs> First you get the glass and this is rose syrup. And that's, that's what it gives it a little bit of Mediterranean. And that's a popular ingredient with you. Uh, it's halwa and everything with a rose. <laughs> so you scroll this on the cup like that. Not too much. And also you get the sweet from this too. So you don't need to add more sugar in here. So you blend the smoothie. Okay, first you want to add some of the fruits on the bottom. And you have here blueberries, raspberries, Raspberry, blackberries. Yeah, also whatever fruits you're comfortable with, you add it. And then you add the smoothie on the top of that. See how creamy? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, not too much because you want to add more the ice cream and then the fruits on the top. So I'm using a mango gelato and pistachio gelato. Oh, also, this wow. is Middle Eastern, so this is my two favorite flavors. And where can you find these ingredients at? This you get in the grocery stores. And gelato is different from the ice cream. It's more creamier. Two scoops, why not? And the pistachio mm. gelato. Pistachio gelato. Yeah, the gelato is more creamier than the ice cream. So you get this. Two scoops. Okay. And then a little bit more rose syrup. Yeah. And then you finish it up with some fruits. Wonderful. You have a whole dessert and serving in a cup, a right? In a cup. Yeah, in it. a cup. So you have everything in one cup. Wow. Well, I look forward to trying this yeah. at home, topping it with pistachios too. Of course. Oh, of course. I love it. And whipped cream on the top. Yes. And everything looks so beautiful. Sorry. You said you were making it like a cake, like you do yeah. with a lot of desserts. Look at that. Shop. <laughs> oh, that looks great. I cannot wait to try this. Of it course. looks amazing. <laughs> and of course, you'll be able to try it at Hawa Bakery very yeah. soon. We'll have more details online at WSLS.com.